Watch you guys, got another video request video here for you. This one's been requested by one of my YouTube members. He asked, can you uh, check a website to see if it's uh, of good reputation or if it's got any viruses on there before you actually enter the website? Well, the answer to this question is yes, you can use Web of Trust, which is a, a tool that you can actually use to check uh, the reputation of the site. And you can always use a website called URL Void. A URL Void is basically people that submit sites that are bad and uh, you can see here there is over uh, 1,677,494 unique websites that have been submitted to this to be analyzed now some of these come up real bad so all you need to do here is paste in your your actual uh, URL that you want to check and then submit this okay now what this is going to do is check it and uh, if someone has actually submitted this, then you will see it come up here. Now, it's not 100% foolproof, but as you can see here, it has detected it. And uh, it was analyzed on this date. And you can see the web address. And it's now been blacklisted. And you can see here the detection ratio. And uh, also, the domain was registered on this date, seven years ago. And you can see here, uh, my web of trust has detected it. And also, Trend Micro has de uh, detected it. Now you can use other sites like uh, Virus Total and stuff like that that also allows you to scan URLs as well. Okay, and you can also use uh, other types of uh, browser plugins and stuff like that. So let's try another site here. You can see this site is called scanurl.net. If I push enter on here, you'll see again it gives you some information. And it sort of basically tells you what it is. Uh, Web of Trust has picked it up. Poor reputation. So it's a very handy tool. Let's try one more URL. So I'm just going to paste this URL. Another one inside here. And we're going to check this one to see what happens. Okay. It's got a poor reputation again here as you can see. And uh, you can uh, basically read all the information about this. We'll try one more uh, site on the other side here. But as you can see what this is doing is actually checking for... Uh, phishing sites, hosting malware sites, also viruses and poor reputation sites. Okay, these include shock sites and stuff like that, where people send you to them, and it shows you an also aw awful graphic image of something that's nasty, and you don't want to see that stuff. So this will blacklist all those sites. So let me actually uh, put one more link in here, which is this one, and we'll see what happens when it comes up here. So I'll just paste this in. And I'm going to push submit. Now you can see here uh, what's happened. It's not been blacklisted, but what's happened is that it's been submitted by someone. So you can see uh, that it's it's got a bad reputation. It says this red uh, website uh, was registered four days ago. Surf with caution. So they're basically telling you that the site has been uh, notified as being bad, but it needs to be checked out first, and then they can add it to the blacklist. This is how it works, basically. So that all said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys. That will keep you up to date for all my latest videos. And also hit that like button, guys. It really does help me out and get some visibility. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you again soon. So thanks again. Bye for now.